Hi, I'm doing what I watched in February. It's kind of, it's really early right now, but I couldn't sleep, so I thought I would just get it done. Um, I watched, a, I finished a TV show in, in this month, or last month, and I watched 29 movies, which made me excited because, you know, there were 29 days in the month last month so I don't know I felt really like happy about that <laughs> but I finished Just But Housewives and I enjoyed it there was a lot of like storylines that like frustrated me I hate Susan Meyer he's one of my least favorite TV characters of all time um but then the day after I watched it I woke up and I learned that Orson Bean, who played Roy, was hit and killed by a car while crossing the street. And that just, like, made me so sad because he was 91 and that is the way that his life ended, was getting hit by a car while crossing the street. And that is just too sad. And, but... We loved Roy and Karen and Captain Justin, who played Karen, passed away tw 10 days after the character died in the finale of This Is Housewives. They both had, they had cancer, both the character and the actress had cancer, and they both died of cancer, so, but Catherine was great as Karen, my favorite character is Lynette. Um, my favorite couple is Lynette on Tom, but I also love Gabby and Carlos. I don't really like Gabby as a character, but I love her with Carlos. Um, I also love Bree with Keith, and I wish that he had stayed around a little longer. Um, I love her, Bree's growth, but I did a whole, like, video about That's My Housewives, but yes, I've seen it. It's another show off my list of a lot of movies that I've been, I've been all the TV shows I've been wanting to see. So, okay, now I'm going to go into the movies. Again, I'm just going to go and be, tell you the ones that I, when I get to a movie, if I've seen it, if I haven't seen it, if I own it. I actually found all the movies that I own that I've seen this month, which is good. <laughs> Okay, so the first movie I watched was Adventures of Baron Mercer, Mercer, I don't know how to pronounce it. Cole Sprouse is one of my favorite people now, all of a sudden, and like on a few weeks ago, he was posting movies that he was watching on his Insta story, and so I was like, I went, I watched all the movies that he put, and surprisingly, I had seen like most of the movies that he had put up. But there were three that I hadn't seen, so I watched them, and uh, that was one of them, and it was a really fun movie. I enjoyed it a lot. And then I watched Ani Babe, and that was really good. It was it's a horror movie, and it was great. Then The Fall is one of the most gorgeous films I've ever seen, and that was a lot but I didn't really know what was what was going to be about. I just I've seen a lot of like like screenshots from it and I just thought it looked beautiful and I didn't really know what the actual story was and I enjoyed it a lot. Um, okay, so, and then I watched on uh, Valentine's Day, I watched uh, The Fault in Our Stars. My mom got this for me for Valentine's Day. I had seen it before, so it's not a new to me, but um, I don't, I, I actually don't really like this thing. Like, the movie doesn't really do anything for me, I have to be honest. But I love Celine Woodley. And so Elga, he's not good at the emotional scenes. I just have to be honest with that. He's a little over the top. But um, Laura Dern is one of my favorite parents ever in a movie. I love her. I love uh, Laura Dern in general. But I love her in this movie. So... And then I watched Two for the Road for Valentine's Day as well. And I have seen this like a billion times. I just love Albert Finney and Audrey Hepburn's relationship. They were dating during this and you could tell there was like 
a very like more than just you know co-workers and they were great together and I love this like it's not like I I guess I don't know I like the real tragic kind of love story um you know I forgot to put I think I forgot to write down I I, I watched Blue Valentine I realized I didn't write it down. Hmm. So anyway, Acts chapter any movies. <laughs> now that ruined my everything. But anyway, I saw Blue Valentine on Valentine's Day, and I don't know why I didn't write that down. That's gonna bother me. But um, yeah, I watched it. I own it, but I couldn't find it. So see, now I can't find it. Um, I watched it on Netflix. Yes, I watched it on Netflix, and I just love that movie. And I love Michelle Williams and Ryan Gosling's relationship at the beginning. <laughs> That's were really bad to the end. But I just love their chemistry. I think they worked so well together. And yeah, I can't believe I forgot to write it down. I'm glad I remembered it though. Um, and then I watched Five Feet Apart on Valentine's Day. Um, I watched the Blu-ray so much that it doesn't work anymore. And I didn't think that was possible, so I bought it on Prime, so on it, and so I watch on um, Amazon Video, so I watch it on there now, but not twice this uh, last month. Um, and then I watched Where Did You Go, Bernadette. I've seen it three times. I watched it on I don't remember, but I saw it on Hulu, and. I watched it and like this doesn't get good reviews at all um, and I understand why but a quite bit of part is also kind of like this like where it's not very greatly like a greatly made movie or acted or anything but it just makes me happy to watch it so I bought it I watched it twice since buying it and it still makes me so happy and I just love this movie um, and then I watched The Men and a Baby and The Men and a Little Lady. Um, these are really cute and I didn't realize that The Men and a Baby was kind of like not family friendly. <laughs> um, directed by Leonard Nimoy, which I think is really funny. Like, I, that's so weird that he directed this movie. Um, Oh my goodness. Three of Hollywood's hottest stars. Tom Selleck, Steve Guttenberg, and Ted Danson. Ted Danson. Was Steve Guttenberg like, considered a hot person in the 90s? Because I don't know. Was he a heart stop? I don't know. But Tom Selleck and Ted Danson definitely were. Um, and then I watched the Naked Gun trilogy. No, <laughs> I, but I jumped ahead to the ones I've seen. Okay, so I saw Where'd You Grow Bernadette, then I saw Book Smart, which I thought was okay, and then I watched Theme and a Baby and Theme and a Little Lady, so, okay. And then I watched Columbus. Um, I got a Netflix DVD, and I loved that movie. It was so good. Um, then I got Life of the Party, also from Netflix DVD, and that was fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, okay, now, <laughs> Naked Gun trilogy. Um, Lizzie Nelson is one of the funniest people that ever lived. And it had George Kennedy in it, and I love him, so. Highly recommend it. Um, and then I saw Nerve, yes. <laughs> um, this is a movie that I've seen a lot, like a lot. <laughs> um, uh, and then I watched The Outsiders, my favorite movie of all time. And then, this is a new to me, but I bought it before I saw it, because I was like, it, I'm gonna like it, like, I have to buy it. I, like, I should, I should just own it. Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, um, was beautiful and great, and I'm gonna watch it a lot now, but Tom Hanks and 
the Shirajas are like the best combo in my opinion. I'm so glad it was Tom Hanks who played him. He did a, such a great job. Um, okay, let's see. All right. And then I watched um, Bloom and Holiday um, on Thursday. Yes, on Friday. Um, I had a stressful work day on Thursday, and then thankfully we were closed on Friday. So I got to chill, and I watched all of like movies that bring me comfort and like calm me the hell down. And I watched Home on Holiday because this movie is just like great for that. That's a good therapy movie. <laughs> like if you're going through stuff, watch it because you're so happy. And then I watched Funny Face, which is another like happy chill movie. Um, and then I watched The Little Mermaid, my favorite Disney movie. Um, and then I watched Totoro. And then yesterday, not yesterday, on Friday. Wait, yeah, on Friday, I know it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. <laughs> then I watched Lion King yesterday, and Knives Out yesterday, and I enjoyed Lion King. Knives Out, I enjoyed, it was very, very predictable. I already knew how it was going to end, but <laughs> I enjoyed watching it. Then, uh, last for my collection is Cinderella. Watched it yesterday. Yeah, I watched those on Friday because uh, Lion King and Knives Out was yesterday. It was yesterday. Um, but yeah, and then I watched Cinderella. Oh my god, this is annoying me. Okay, you know. Yes, I, I watched Lion King and Knives Out yesterday. And then. Yes, yes, yes. I watched these all yesterday. Um, and then um, I watched um, Magico Bernadette again. And then I was on Twitter and Netflix was saying all the movies that are going to be taken off uh, la yeah, last night. And there I had seen all of them except for three. So I was like, I want to watch them. I've been wanting to watch them for years. So I was like, great. I'm like, I get to watch them. I watched Junebug and like, the beginning, I wasn't a fan of it at all. <laughs> I was like, Ugh. and then the hospital scene was uh, when after Amy's character loses their her baby. That was so well acted and was so sad. And like, then I was like, oh my god, that was a beautiful movie. And then I watched Has On Flow, which is now one of my least favorite movies I have ever seen in my entire life. And I don't know what all the Oscar buzz around it was when it came out. Like, I don't understand it. Um, and then I watched A Riri, Never Sorry. I don't know how to say his name, but that was a very good documentary. And he he's a good, he's a hero. In a lot of ways, so it was a mess, but I did it, and you know what I watched, and <laughs> that is all. <laughs>